Good day, Reverend Paul Graham. My name is Obiora Chubuzo Henry. I know that Ima Vama must have told you a lot about me, but she didn't tell you everything about me. I am from Lagos, Nigeria. I am the second child of my family. We are six in numbers. The elder is a boy. I am the second child. The third is a boy also. So the last child is a girl. Plus my mom and dad making the six. I am from a comfortable family. We are not poor. We are not rich. We are just a medium class family. We are comfortable. I'm from a Christian home. Me and my family are born and grown Christians. I attend a church called St. Anne Catholic Church here in Nigeria. We serve God devotedly. We hear His teaching devotedly. We love God so much and His teachings. Yes, I'm from a good, good, well-trained Christian family. I have been working for 15 years in an organization. We deliver laptops, phones, home appliances, headsets, and so on. So, our former boss was sacked. So, a new boss was signed into an organization. He was so very, very, very strict, very wicked, that he doesn't pay his sal he doesn't pay his workers their salaries. We have been suffering so much, co making protests against this man, but he couldn't pay our salary, so I stopped working. I am now searching for a job. So I'm going to talk about Ima Vama. She's my fiancé. I met Ima, or I saw Ima in Facebook. Oh my God. At first sight, I fell in love with Ima. We chatted for a long, long, long time. We introduced ourselves and she told me about her ex-husband that he was so abusive that what make made her divorce the husband. I was so very, very hot. I cried because I felt a pain. It's not easy to go into a marriage. I know that for sure. But we need to put God first in marriage. The two couples need to understand each other. Pray to God for successful marriage. We should not jump into marriage like that. So he might told me all those kind of things. I was so, so, so sad about that. I felt hot. Oh, Ima. So, as I was chatting with Ima, I felt this internal love. I love Ima so much. She's a very strong woman. She's cute. She's beautiful. She's loving. What can describe Ima? She's the type of woman I want. I love her so much with all my life. I can't do anything without Ima. If I don't see Ima one day, I will just kill myself. I will just commit suicide because I love her so much. She's the love of my life. 
I need to marry her. If I don't marry her, I'm going to commit suicide. If mom, he might have been begging me to come over to England. But I don't have transport fare. I don't have money. Because I stopped work. And I'm searching for a new job. But you must say she can't wait to, for us to be together. So I'm begging the church and Pastor Paul Graham, please to support me financially so that, so that I can come over to England to see Ima, propose to her, and marry to her so that we can live a happy family. I promise never to break our hearts. I swear with my life, Ima is my life. So if I lose Ima, I have lost my life. Please, Pastor Abraham, Pastor Noves, I'm sorry, Pastor, Pastor Paul Graham, please, I beg you so much. Please assist me and the church. Support me financially, please, Pastor Graham, so that I, shall, I, shall, I can come over to England, Maria, and start working and live a good life and a happy home with Ima. Please, Pastor, as you support me, may the good Lord Almighty Heaven replenish you, reward you in thousand fold. You will never lack in Jesus' name, I pray. Please, Pastor, please, I need your help. And the church, I need your help also. I love you, Ima. I love you so much. I can't do without you, Ima. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Church. Thank you, everybody. Good day. I must end my video call here. My video here. My video clip here. Please. I need money to come over to England. Please support me financially. I need it. Thank you.